Hi everybody, welcome to another video of Game of Thrones Academy. Hi Itamar. Hello. As usual, we are going to look at A Song of Ice and Fire through the lens of history and politics. And today we are going to talk about climate change, ice versus fire. Okay, so is there such a thing as climate change in the stories? I think you can say that, you know, winter is coming, is climate changing. Mm -hmm. And climate uh, like plays a role in this uh, okay, story. So you can see when uh, winter is coming in the far north, the wildlings are basically migrating south. And uh, a lot of people migrating to a different uh, place with a different culture, dif different political uh, beliefs. It will change a lot of things. And uh, also there, there is something uh, that uh, Sam says, when he reads about the others, that the others are coming when there is cold, or when the climate is very, very cold, then the others are coming. So there is some connection to climate with the others. And if you go back in history, you know, the long night. The long night. Winter is coming, long night. And nights the, uh, were, were born and, and died during the long during nights, the long so they night, say. Yeah, so we can say maybe, you know, it's a, meet, a meter fell or something like that and covered the, mm. the sky and the sun. You can, you know, if you want to like make it scientific, you had the doom. The mm. doom will destroy Valeria. Right. That's climate change, you know. And, and, and in history? Climate change as an, as an agent of change in mm. history, from what I know, has on, only recently became like a, another sort of exp explanation to uh, an historical process. Hmm. For like, example? Uh, for example, we all know about the French Revolution, right. and, you know, the Enlightenment period yeah, and, and freedom. And the middle and class wanted a bigger part in the... Yeah, liberté, yeah. fraternité, and uh, egalité, you right, know, right, very right. nice ideals, of yeah, course, yeah. that changed the world. But another historian can come and, like, seriously say, these are good and nice and beautiful, these ideas, but there was a drought. Mm. You know, the climate has changed, there was, a drought. there was a drought, the drought made a lot of people hungry, mad, and mad, yeah, and then the, these ideas uh, were, you know, were dressed upon mm. this uh, anger. resentment and resentment. anger, yeah. and okay. uh, changed uh, the politics. You have uh, another example, the migration of the Germanic people in the 5th uh, century, 4th century uh, AD, you know, the Visigoths, the Ostrogoths, the Lombard. We guess uh, there was some kind of uh, climate change or difficulties in uh, the agriculture and the survival of the people, so they migrated uh, all over uh, Europe and basically were, were part of the reason the Roman Empire uh, fell. Right. Uh, you can say even today, in today's like contemporary okay. uh, events, uh, with the Syrian uh, civil war, mm -hmm. oh, of course you can say uh, and it's, it's part of the Arab Springs and more people want freedom and yeah, uh, yeah. democracy and stuff like that. But there was a big drought in Syria in the last uh, couple mm -hmm. of years, in the last few years. So it's a, it's a factor. Uh, new uh, research uh, concerning the Syrian uh, empire new foundings by archaeologists and historians okay. now are saying that it could have been because of a drought. And the fall of the Assyrian Empire changed history, you know, like completely. So climate change do play a major role, but a secret role, like a mm. backstage role in okay. uh, the story that we tell ourselves, which is history. We tell ourselves a story where we are the players and mm -hmm. we decide our own fate. We like, yeah, we like to uh, analyze history as something that in every crossroads, someone had the choice to choose that and mm -hmm. that. And it could be true, but, but there is a backstage at player. At the same time, yeah. At the same time, you have a backstage player, which is climate and the outside events that no doubt have an effect on lives. So uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But you're wrong. So. <laughs> <laughs> but human history, in a sense, started after the last ice age. Mm -hmm. uh, you're not wrong. 
<laughs> this time <laughs> I took a chance <laughs> this time you're not wrong I got one That's yeah okay. places uh, that uh, when it was very cold places that was uh, what that were un uh, inhabitable and <laughs> 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 Uninhabitable. Uninhabitable before. Now became a uh, place that you can settle. And, uh, Where, for example? They settled. Like the agricultural uh, revolution became, came uh, after the, the, after the, last, the last ice age. The last ice age. This is the start of civilization, basically. Settled societies, division of labor, and blah, 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 up until, you know. Oh, yeah. Okay, so when you take all that into account in history, uh, climate change in history, the climate change in the books, in the story, Can you extrapolate some bold prediction? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, how bold is it? It's not that bold. <laughs> no, it's really not that bold <laughs> because it's so obvious it's going to happen. Okay, what is it? Uh, the book, uh, the series is called The Song of Ice and Fire. Okay. So there is this, there is this element of natural disasters and mm. uh, climate and heat versus cold. And it affects the game, it affects yeah, the game of Thrones. winter is coming and the dragons are coming, Ooh. there will be a clash, a okay. heat versus cold, okay. and winter versus summer. And? And the, the, the sixth book is called The Winds of Winter, and the seventh book, uh, supposedly, you know, when we'll Dream be uh, 100 years old, it will come. <laughs> We've got dreams of spring. So That's okay, George R. R. Martin, <laughs> take your time. Take your time, take take your time, time but, not, prosper. but not that. Uh, <laughs> but a little bit quick. <laughs> So yeah, climate change is coming. It's coming as an idea, you know, not as an idea, as uh, occurrences, like a natural occurrences, okay. involving and magic and stuff. And what will be and the it, effect? And of course it will change everything, it will change the world. Like uh, a drought, a simple drought of a few years can create revolutions mm -hmm. that in a long term change the, the existing order or the ancien regime, you know. And the ancien regime? Ancien regime, yeah. Ancien regime. Uh, like the ancient uh, way of thinking mm -hmm. and uh, you know, new players and new uh, groups in society are uh, starting to, you know, <coughs> take their place under the sun. Okay, so, so it goes also to your point in other videos that in an epic story, the story starts in one place and ends in another and just climate change in that way is one of the agents of change. If, if I was... A Martian, if you were Martians coming to Westeros at this uh, point in the story. Marsos, Marceros. Marceros, yeah. And we basically are Martians. The readers, the right, readers, right. because we have the bird's eye view. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are uh, looking at Cersei with all her conniving and, and politics and little and things that wants yeah. uh, to uh, marry this and that. And really? Very yeah. like uh, benign, you know, uh, trivial, petty. Tri petty. Petty, uh, trivial yeah. stuff about politics. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When we know there is like, you know, this big <laughs> clash of monsters from the north with monsters from the east. Yeah. And like, this is what you fight about because... And nobody talks about the others or the dragons. Nobody in King's Landing takes that into account. No, no, well, from the what we're uh, reading. It's like a fairy tale in this particular time. Yeah. Uh, but it's coming, you know, the, the icebergs are melting. You can say. Ah, so that reminds you of... That reminds me of uh, what we are now today. You know, I want to enrich uranium. I don't want to enrich uranium. <laughs> I want to control this part of Jerusalem. I don't want to... Okay. And higher taxes, a 2% tax? Yeah, it's, very, it's important stuff. But if I was a Martian, I would say, come on, this is a fairy tale. This is a very trivial because the icebergs are melting. Mm -hmm. And it's coming and it's real. The long no, nights, long real. winter. So if a Martian would come here and say, this is what you're fighting about? The icebergs are melting, come on. This is what you're fighting about? The, the, the deforestation, the oxygen depletion, the ozone layer, mm. the CO2 carbon mm. emitters. This is why everybody has to go vegan. <laughs> uh, yeah. The, <laughs> but yeah, so it's very interesting, okay. you know, it's, uh, it's okay. like, he's, and he wrote it in the 90s, so I, I'm not yeah. sure it was that uh, popular. Maybe, uh, maybe he did there. that uh, subconsciously also. Maybe. Because maybe. I don't know if anybody talked about... Carl, no, Carl Sagan talked about it in the 80s. In the 80s, yeah. okay. So uh, my prediction, the icebergs 
we'll melt <laughs> and we're all gonna drown <laughs> so stop fighting <laughs> i'm gonna go on a hill i think maybe and set myself a hut there okay so thanks for watching if you like the video click like if you agree disagree with itamar if you think we are not going to die we're going to live you can comment and subscribe to get our next video and we'll see you next time bye